Turning now to levelling up. This phrase that Boris Johnson introduced to the political lexicon of this country, this phrase that seems to have been borrowed from video games more than political history. The question is, what does it mean? Boris Johnson was elected on a platform to get Brexit done, and upon winning that general election within two months, he had got Brexit done. Britain was out of the EU after years of turmoil. This created a problem for the Boris Johnson government, though. What on earth was the government meant to do? What was its driving mission? Its election promise had been delivered. So levelling up was arrived upon. Levelling up. Yet this means different things to different people. To free market conservatives, winning conservatives like Ben Houchin up in the uh, Tees Valley, the mayor of the Tees Valley, who won with over 70% of the vote in last year's elections. Well, he says that levelling up is about greater freedom, free ports, not necessarily pouring in more taxpayer cash. But then you speak to some people on the left of the Conservative Party, what does levelling up mean? Well, they'll say it's about taking money from rich parts of the country and shoving it into poor parts of the country, a, a redistributive model of levelling up. The challenge of the white paper that's expected to be coming out later this week, the challenge for Michael Gove is defining what on earth levelling up means. And the challenge here is that if it's just a small selection of little policies, a few more regional mayors, a bit more money for certain town centres, that's not something that drives a mission for government. There needs to be a coherent ideology behind this project. What is the strain? Where's the coherence? And the challenge for Boris Johnson is that, aside from Brexit, potentially this has not been the most coherent premiership. This has not been the most ideologically centred premiership. And I mean centre in the sense of having that very clear road to follow. Of course, the most successful prime ministers of the Conservative Party in the history of this country have been those that have that clear mission, that clear drive. And the question for Boris Johnson is, can he find it in the next few days?